While much of the attention was focused on Liberty football's move up, the Flames weren't quite done with the FCS just yet. This could be the defining moment. Let's go! Here we go. 24-yard field goal at the 14-yard line. Oh! It's blocked! Liberty is going to win! Liberty, champions of the Big South! That blocked field goal against undefeated and number one ranked Coastal Carolina sent the Flames to the postseason for the first time in their history. They would go on to defeat James Madison in the FCS playoffs, marking their first ever postseason victory. The following year, on November 19, 2015, the Flames played before a national television audience for the first time when they hosted and once again defeated Coastal Carolina. During that game, Liberty announced its plans to build an indoor practice facility. It was huge in the sense that they're showing now that the administration is committed to football. When they uh, decide to build an indoor facility, uh, that says a whole lot. It's just not talk. Then came February 16th, 2017, and the long-awaited announcement. The NCAA approved Liberty Football's two-year reclassification to the FBS as an independent, an achievement 45 years in the making. What a tremendous blessing today is, and uh, we're just uh, truly, truly grateful to, uh, to have the opportunity to uh, reclassify from FCS to FBS. The first contest at this highest level of college football would be against in-state foe Old Dominion in 2018. Liberty quickly served notice to the rest of the FBS that there was another member of their fraternity. Then on December 1st, 2018, Hugh Freeze would become the program's ninth head coach. During Freeze's tenure, the Flames proved that they belonged. They became just the third team in FBS history to win a bowl game in their first year of bowl eligibility, defeating Georgia Southern in the 2019 Cure Bowl. And the Liberty celebrate the first bowl win in program history. 2020 would witness the rise of Malik Willis. The transfer quarterback was a human highlight reel, both with his arm and his legs. With Malik at the helm, the Flames entered the rarefied atmosphere of the Power Five with its first win over an ACC opponent at Syracuse on October 7th, 2020. Willis keeps it and takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. Three weeks later, they would do it again, this time at Virginia Tech. From 51 out for the win. Snap, spot, kick, has the leg. It is good! The Flames would break into the AP rankings that season, finishing at number 17. Then it was on to their second straight bowl victory, an overtime thriller against old rival Coastal Carolina. Snap, spot. Go oh, oh, look! It's blocked! Oh, the Flames yes! have won! The Flames have won! And Liberty celebrates in Orlando! Hashtag beat Coastal! In 2021, Liberty accepted an invitation to join Conference USA beginning in 2023, giving football an FBS conference home for the very first time. Yeah, rock out with each other, man. That season concluded with a third straight bowl victory, this time over Eastern Michigan, making Liberty only the second team in FBS history to win their first three bowl games. Ironically, Eastern Michigan was also Liberty's first FBS victim back in 1989. But while all this brought increasing levels of enthusiasm, nothing could compare with October 22nd, 2022. Brigham Young entered a feverish Williams Stadium, fulfilling a vision that had been cast 50 years earlier. I've been waiting on this one, dude. This is a special moment in the history of this university and football program. Running back is Lewis. He'll take it, he'll score. Dancing at the 10, throws near side. It's going to be caught. And Day Day Hunter has one man to beat, and he just beat him. Looking to throw, does so, end zone. It's up, and it's caught. 
Liberty has absolutely smothered the visitors. One of the biggest wins in program history. And so we move on to decade number six. With a new head coach in Jamie Chadwell and the program's first ever FBS Conference Championship, bringing a new level of excitement to a mountain that was once just an empty field. Fulfilling the vision of a man who heard the roaring crowds in the silence of a gentle breeze, who saw a stadium rise up from ground that had not yet been broken, who enjoyed the victories of those who had not yet entered the arena, and who trusted in a God who would bring it all to pass. <laughs>